Hey folks, and welcome back. We're finally playing, well, not necessarily welcome back, maybe welcome to you as well, but we're moving on to Monkey Island 2. We played Monkey Island 1 Special Edition on Explorer. Well, this is actually rather the CD that contains both. Uh, and we've got Dancing Monkeys. We're moving on to Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. And, like I mentioned a few times, my favorite game of all time. So it'll be a good journey. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to record a decent amount tonight. And then we got old school guy brush on the screen. Xbox Live Arcade. Again, this does game does contain an achievement for speedrunning it. Uh, this time it's incredibly not possible we'll do it. Uh, with Monkey Island 1 is potentially even trying to enclose as much material as I could. Uh, oopsie. Um, this game's got just so much material that um, it'd be impossible to do it uh, with a speedrun setup. Uh, just check out settings. Uh, we want the voice dialogue on with the subtitles on. Wait. No, I see. Okay. I think that's right. It's a bit confusing. I remember getting confused with it last time. Uh, we'll see if the subtitles are on. Well, well. No, sorry. It's a bit weird. Um, I don't know what the difference is. Manual point click or the objects highlighting. Uh, we want those on. And we'll oh, carry on. Guy Brush Streetwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you can help me out? How'd she get into <coughs> this mess? Is so, uh, it's kind of a long story. I see Elaine Marley from the last okay. game, so we've got apparently got. Uh, well, and it old school all started mode. on Scab Island. Some of my admirers have pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. So, it's been, obviously been some time since the end of the first game. The Caribbean. Scab, scab Island. Island. Oh, it's called Scab. I absolutely love this song, for some reason. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you now, I was mentioning this in my bonus thing. video. And then the truck cries, Guy Brush, and he tries to say a line, but can't think of a final B word. I think I know how he must have felt. <laughs> So he's kind of making up the story. Though so you can time. bust and scream at him, uh, it's definitely blind. New stories. Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A I beard? actually like no, I'm in search of the look treasure. of him in the original. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and that it's so looks that it really nice there. Every pirate on the seas. You mean big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that Chuck anymore. So, it appears Guybrush has been getting famous off his Chuck story. Guys know a good uh, perhaps not so famous, probably infamous rather. However, Guybrush wants to find a treasure for a new story. So will he be able to do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. Part 1, the Lago Embargo. Yeah, I'm going to keep switching over every so often. It will be slightly annoying, but... It's well worth doing. Oh, just look at all that inventory we have. Now we have oh, control with of the point and click stick with this and we can walk with the left stick. Um, hold L2 to see, sorry not L2, left trigger rather to see the stuff. This may be a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how rich I'll be when I find Big Wolf. So we've got gold, gold, gold and notes, notes, treasures, uh, some gold bars, more treasures, and the savings bonds for 
travel bonds or something like that. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? Oh, we just gotta go into town. Parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You can pay. Excuse me. Oh god. Yeah, we're, we're, we're a pirate. We're a pirate now. We don't have to do nothing. Tough guy, huh? Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Really? Take a quick look at the uh, different version. It keeps the law and maintains order. And if who eats the donuts and rushes the transient? I always have to say that. I do also like the dialogue, uh, not in my new coat. You can assume that he's just bought this coat recently. Uh, his white shirt presumably the leader one from Monkey Island 1. <laughs> oh man, Jesus. Trust as soon as I start recording an LP. They start sneezing. Should have got those travelers checked. Would have been an idea. Maybe you should have bought insurance. So this place is Wood Tech. Um, for whatever reason, I'm pretty sure we're meant to have the um. Where is it? Settings. No, it's not there. Hmm. Okay, for some reason it's not coming up. No, I don't know. Uh, but we'll carry on. Well, we'll look in this nice place where we did pass the store as well. Hello. Hello. Now one of the things that's meant to come up is, it's actually meant to be, uh, develop a commentary in this game. And... I know it's in this. I'm pretty sure it's in this. Um, but it's not coming up. I mean, it's pretty, I'm pretty sure it is in the Xbox version as well. Uh, so if anyone knows why it's not coming up, do let me know. Uh, not that I was really going to play any, but still would be nice to have. Anyway, this is Scare Island, this is where we start off. Like, uh, Gabriel says he do, does want to rent a ship and get off here. However, with the level, Tuttled Lago Embargo. Uh, it may be quite some time before that happens. But we'll go to the first shop and <coughs> talk to this man. Yeah. <laughs> How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. He's got a point. <laughs> but if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut <laughs> It's just such a, a great I just like to browse dialogue. Things. Okay, but don't touch anything. Oh, there's not actually much you can do in the woodsmith at this point in time. It is definitely a place we will be returning to, but... At this point in time, we will have to leave it. In this video, I'm just uh -huh. going to do a quick tour of Scab Island. There's a pile of paper here, so we'll pick some up. And we'll talk to the cartographer as well. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, <laughs> the chuck-busting stud. Uh -huh. Some pickup line. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Maybe we should Wally. say that. Wally B. Feed. I love his At name as well. Service. Wally B. Feed. For some reason it's just kind of... 
It's good. It's good. It's just good. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery in here? Uh, no. Wrong. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. He's got a nice roof. Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. Hmm, restoration work. Together, we work. copy them, paint little cupids in the corners. You know, artsy fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. Well, I'm sure they are. Uh, well, goodbye. We'll leave them alone for you. now. But that does seem important. He did say maps are very, very important, and uh, maybe we'll find out why later on in the game. Now we can highlight the items with that. Well, all we have now in the world is a piece of paper. Maybe we'll... Come on, guy rush. There we go. We'll go down here. See what's down this uh, little... booth. Oh! Then one of the things that the... Uh, a commentary if it worked for some reason it's not uh, talks about is the I'm use it's a technology they used back in the day uh, where there's essentially one song playing but each version is slightly different so if you go out here and though we do have a load screen unfortunately it's slightly different however it's still for the most part the same song uh, so it's kind of a big thing in the game industry at the time, believe it or not. Uh, so it's this idea of just being able to transition between slightly different songs to set the mood for the places. Uh, it's very cool, I thought. Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, the boy? commentary is meant to talk about that. Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Not oh, yeah. Not exactly. It's not how I remember it. I don't it. care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. <laughs> I do have a business to run, you know. That's a good point. Well, how is business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Argos are all my regular spooks. Ah, oh, how you know, sad. I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. Really? Well, we might have to do that some that time. Really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll. Uh, you want some talking? You then. Uh oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. <laughs> now, the interesting thing about that. No, it's not really interesting. Walk over is. The door, you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. nose. That actually looks pretty much as good as it does in the original version as well. The original version, for whatever reason. Ooh. Nasty bit of business there. You just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. For whatever reason, the game did really well animation on the spit originally. I don't know why. Um. No, we don't want to do that. What we have to do here is use this bleach piece of paper on the spit. Uh, yuck. Don't know why we want to spit. Uh, maybe we'll find out soon. Perhaps we should have done it in a different order so I could have actually established why we wanted that spit. It does seem a bit weird that we just randomly pick it up like that. But we'll go to find out why we want to spit now and then I'll uh, wrap up this video. We'll go to the swamp. It looks like an interesting area. Uh, there's a peninsula there, graveyard, and at the top right is the beach where we started off the game as well. However, there's no hash house of mojo. International House of Mojo. Yeah, interesting. Let's use this coffin. Yeah, makes a nice boat. This is reasonably quiet. Uh, for some reason, they didn't do a good transition of the music in this version. 
Um, especially since there's meant to be a part here, and I'll run the shack like this. In the version I've got, it plays kind of this shocking piece of music, like a da da, when you get pulled up. Uh, the remake doesn't have it, and the original version shown in the remake doesn't have it. Kind of disappointing. Hey, here's a familiar face. It is. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. Was I it? I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root. Actually. And how to turn it into the powerful ghost dissolving potion you needed. Oh yeah, now I remember. Actually, that's the point. Um, we did see her in my Let's Play of Monkey Island 1. But you can go back to, we did see her initially, we talk and she gives us a fortune that we travel to Monkey Island with a crew and that would go inside a monkey, uh, which of course all happened. However, you can go talk to her post uh, Elaine's kidnapping and she'll tell us that you need to defeat Guy Bro uh, sorry, uh, the Chuck with a root. I don't think I did that, so that line of dialogue doesn't really apply to us. So she just lied to us. How, how rude. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Oh, that's good. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Oh, that's unfortunate. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Oh. Yeah, LeChuck's history. I got rid of him myself. True evil can never be destroyed completely. I wonder if that's where the game uh, got its name from. Why don't you just put a curse on the show? <laughs> I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo we dolls. We did hear about these voodoo dolls, dolls before. Doll, I need some items from Lago's person, and no one's brave enough to go get them for me. Well, we might not be brave, but we are stupid. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, I guess uh, we not have a choice, maybe? but to yeah. To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. Hmm, I wonder if they're suddenly the picked up already. Books. Something of the thread, uh -huh. something of the head, uh -huh. something of the body, right. and something of the dead. Okay, that rhymes. Hey, that almost rhymes. Yeah, yeah. For the thread, I need a piece of Lago's Well, that's kind of self-explanatory. And a lock of hair will do for the head. All right. Bring me a sample of fluid from his Ooh. body. Ooh. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. <laughs> Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with Well, you? we do, actually. But we'll bring them I'll later. bring them later. We'll bring them all at once. Good. Now go. Uh, she obviously sensed that we did have something with us. And there's one more thing we can pick up here before we wrap up. Uh, if it will let me. Oh no, we got the string already. Sorry, I must have picked it up, I forgot. Um, unfortunately, for whatever reason, I can't get the... Uh, bloody thing to go. Um... Which is unfortunate, however, um, I wasn't going to use it so much anyway. Uh, it just would have been nice to have the commentary to know that I could talk about it. Um, but just believe me, there's commentary with the original creators, uh, Ron Gilbert, Tim Schafer, and David Grossman. Uh, it's interesting commentary. There's actually not a lot of it there which disappointed me. Uh, that was one of the things that led me to buy this game originally uh, on PC, though we are playing x -Blood version obviously, um, was the fact that it had commentary and that way I could learn more about the game. Uh, there's only probably one thing that I actually learned, which I'll get onto later on. Um, maybe just the Xbox version doesn't have the commentary, but anyway, uh, I, I was pretty sure when I played it, it did. Anyway, I'll get onto the stuff that I know. I did talk about the iMuse stuff. Um, and I'll talk about some stuff uh, later on. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and bye for now.